Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Limit Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create and display text from a picker view. So in this simulator here, I have an example of what we were creating today. We have our simple label at the top here and our picker view. And every time we select one of the um, options in our picker view, the um, label there displays the text of which one we selected. So already on my project set up, it's a simple single view application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Pick a View for the purpose of this tutorial. Now then, the first thing we need to do is start adding the um, actions and outlets for our Pick a View. So um, what we do then is after the view control here, we do bracket enter. And then we'll start by typing out the outlet for our label. That'll be the first thing we'll do. Space label and that raise semicolon and then we'll create the outlet for our picker view and I'll simply name that picker and that with a um, semicolon now we need to create the an NS array outlet kind of for our picker view for the um, data it's going to hold so we'll do NS array space asterisk and I'll simply name it pick a data and have a semicolon. And now we're going to need to uh, retain the uh, pick a view and the NS array. So I'll just simply do the at symbol property space bracket retain comma non atomic bracket there. And I'll just simply copy the outlet there just to save a little bit of time. And I'll do the same again for the uh, NS array, but just changing the outlet here. And then after I've done that, we need to uh, jump straight into our view controller.m, where now we've retained our two objects, our picker and our picker view data, we need to uh, synthesize them. So we do at synthesize and the property, so our picker, comma, and our picker data and that array semicolon. Okay then, so now we've done that, we need to create the array and each individual option the array is going to hold within our picker view. So what we would do is do ns array space asterisk and I'll simply name it array space eagle space bracket bracket ns array space alloc and then bracket and then space in it with uh, objects and then we do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and our first one will be uh, one now what I'm going to do is copy and paste the uh, one there making sure there's a comma at the end and I'll do it so that we've got four together so as on the um, simulator I showed you we had four options all together and I'll simply name it one, two, four. Nice and easy. And then at the end we do, of the nil we do bracket and semicolon. And then we do space self dot picker data space equals and it's going to equal the array and then that array semicolon. And then the next thing we're going to do, so just after all of our code in there, we're going to start adding in our um, components in the picker view. A, um, pick a few, it's um, you know the uh, number of rows and stuff like that. All the um, components needed to enable the picker view to um, function. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, dash uh, bracket ns integra. There we go and in bracket and then we're going to do number of components number of components in picker view let's make sure I've uh, correctly spelled that right yeah number of components in picker view um, colon 
uh, bracket UI pick a view space asterisk bracket pick a view space curly bracket and enter and then we'll just do print return and the expression one now our next one we will do dash bracket ns integra again and this time it's uh, pick a view colon bracket UI pick a view space asterisk that end of that bracket there we do pick a view again do number of rows in components space curly bracket and hit enter then we do return in the expression we do bracket uh, pick a pick a data sorry pick a data space count bracket semicolon and then after that one we do the ns string so dash bracket ns string space asterisk and then we do pick a view colon bracket ui pick a view space asterisk and after the bracket we do title oh sorry pick a view space title uh, title for row integra row for component and this integra component space curly bracket and hit enter and then here we do return and then we do in the um, expression we do bracket self dot picker data space object at index and that is the row and the bracket and it was semicolon and now we need to create the void of our pick of view for obviously when we select a certain column or the row it's going to display this certain text within our label so the dash bracket void bracket pick a view colon bracket UI pick a view space asterisk bracket pick a view space did select um, row space bracket and press enter and now we need to uh, start adding in the um, int here space select space equals row and that will be a semicolon hit enter and now we do our if statement so if the select equals equals space zero and then in the statement here our label dot text is going to equal that symbol quotation mark quotation mark one is selected and that array semicolon so now how we got up here in our row the one two three and four we gotta think of it in the um, in our um, label here so if we do our next one for instance we do space else and then if oh, get the next one sorry so else if we change this to two I mean one sorry and then this to two so the select here of the row zero equals to one one equals to two two will equal to three and three will equal to four so if I just copy and paste this two more times so then uh, we change this to our second and then third and then this one to three and this one to four so when we select one of these it will be our, the first one, second, third or fourth it's going to display the set text within our label so if we jump into our view controller.xib and drag in the label which we're going to be using and then just center the text make it look a little bit better we're going to chuck in our picker view here and then click on files owner and the label is going to link up to the label and then the picker is going to link up, link up to the picker view 
Now we control click or command click and drag it to files owner. We're going to want, want to link up both the data source and the uh, delegate. So if we drag them both again, so we've got both of them linked up. We can jump straight to the iPhone simulator and build it and run. And we can see what we've built so far. So let's wait for it to load now. So once it's loaded, we can select one of our four outlets here. So one, one is selected, two, two is selected, three is selected, and four is selected. So that's simply how you create picker views within your application. So I hope this helps in any apps or projects you're working on at the moment. Make sure you like and favor the video as it really does help us out. And if you haven't, make sure you go check out all the apps which are currently on the App Store just by simply searching Geeky Lemon. But if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial by Geeky Lemon Development. Be sure to follow them on Twitter and like them on Facebook. Oh, and check out all of their other tutorials and sample projects on their website, geekylemon.com. But most importantly, please download their awesome iPhone and iPad apps by searching Geeky Lemon on the App Store. And please remember to subscribe.